Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to create a new video on pneumonia, which is a common topic in medicine. So day to day there are a number of cases in pneumonia. So I am going to discuss some radiologically important points in pneumonia. So actually pneumonia is a lung infection and it causes inflammation of the lungs. It can be in the alveoli, in the bronchi or the interstitium. So there is a inflammation of the lung due to an infection. So there are three main types of pneumonias or common types. There are lobar pneumonia which is which is an infection or fluid accumulation in the alveoli or there is exudate formation in the alveoli in the lungs commonly caused by streptococcus pneumonia and another form is bronchopneumonia there is inflammation in, in the peribronchial region and it is commonly caused by staph aureus another type is atypical or interstitial pneumonia kind of a severe disease the, there is inflammation in the interlobular septae so there is exudate formation in the interlobular septae uh, it is commonly caused by mycoplasma, chlamydia and legionella and also sometimes uh, pneumocystis gervaisi in a immunocompromised individuals. Uh, and uh, there are some other types like round pneumonia which occurs in children, then cavitating pneumonia commonly caused by streptococcus pneumonia, there are lung cavity formation and hemorrhagic pneumonia uh, when the patient has coagulopathies, coagulation disorders. The infection causes hemorrhage and there's a bleeding tendency into the lungs. It is called hemorrhagic pneumonia. Another type is aspiration pneumonia. It is caused by the individuals who have uh, swallowing problems. So there's aspiration into the lung bases. And also another type is lipoid pneumonia. There's lipid, uh, lipid accumulation in the lung bases. So it is called uh, lipoid pneumonia. Another type is organizing pneumonia and also it's a chronic process organizing pneumonia. When the cause is not identified we call it uh, cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. There's associated interstitial fibrosis, lung fibrosis occurs. So uh, when you, after pneumonia we have to think of complications. Radiologically we have to assess complications of pneumonia. The complications are abscess formations, pleural effusion or empyema formation. Oh, and uh, fibrosis when it becomes a chronic process and uh, more deadly one is uh, septicemia and multi-organ failure then the patient will die uh, then I'm going to discuss the major points in imaging so first let's discuss about chest x-rays the common stern lobar pneumonia here this is the chest radiograph here you can see segment of the lung is affected more likely a lower lobe segment right lower lobe segment the pacific there's opacification in the right lower zone and uh, there's it's kind of a homogeneous opacification and uh, no pleural effusions here no hyla prominences so this is only a right lower zone opacification there are a few air bronchial formation also there so it's kind of a lobar pneumonia next thing is bronchopneumonia you can see four color patchy consolidations or patchy consolidations scattered throughout the lungs both lung fields and so it's kind of a bronchopneumonia no effusions here and so this is the radiographic appearance of bronchopneumonia patchy consolidation so focal consolidations sometimes having uh, hyla lymphadenopathy here it's not there the next thing is atypical or interstitial pneumonia caused by mycoplasma legionella and chlamydia you can see interlobular septal thickening or reticular opacity opacifications here you can see reticular type opacifications there are a few nodules also so reticular nodular type Mainly the interstitial thickening is there, you can see 
no bs uh, lobe consolidations or bronchogenic or focal consolidations are not there then a mainly reticular nodule and you can see reticular type opacifications here no effusions no high prominences or so lymphadenopathy then the next one is uh, another typical one uh, it's a pneumocystis gervaisi pneumonia uh, there's commonly uh, uh, it affects the immunocompromised people and there will be batting like appearance ground glass opacifications and interlobular septal thickening so reticular type opacifications ground glass type focal consolidations and reticular opacifications can occur male in the perihilar region bat twin type bat twin type so when sometimes there will be cavity formations when it progresses next one is organized pneumonia in organized pneumonia mainly there are peripheral consolidations or opacifications mainly peripherally and also predominantly in the lung bases you can see the retrocardial region also there are opacifications so triangular shape peripheral opacifications will be there in organizing pneumonias and there will be associated fibrosis also then the next thing is uh, cavitating pneumonia you can see there is a consolidated area or opacification with lucencies those are cavities so it's a sinister kind of a disease pneumonia with cavity formation no effusions here there are lucencies so those are cavities next thing is round pneumonia here you can see consolidated area with the abronchial formation it's a fairly well defined rounded opacity with the abronchial formation so after treatment it will disappear so we call it vanishing tumor now the differential diagnosis for vanishing tumor is uh, insisted diffusion after treatment it will disappear they commonly occur in children so it's uh, another entity another one is aspiration pneumonia you see it in icu patients you can see the opacifications in the lung bases with the abronchial formation it's due to aspiration of saliva and food so in lung bases there will be opacifications the next thing is we have to investigate further when there is pneumonia so the next investigations will be uh, CT chest with lung windows and we have to give contrast and see whether there are enhancement to differentiate it from a SOL or a lung carcinoma so we need to do a CT chest or HRCT and in the meantime we have to give contrast also to assess further you can, here you can see a lobe pneumonia you can see a bronchial formation here yeah. so it's basically in the alveoli fluid is in the alveoli so you can see a bronchial formation and uh, this one is mainly in the anterior segment of right upper lobe so it's a lobe distribution it's a lobe pneumonia with the abronchial formation this bronchial pneumonia in hrct you can see focal consolidations focal airspace of educations yeah and also there are gra surrounding ground glass appearance also so it's bronchial pneumonia you can see ground glass opacifications also and uh, mainly the uh, consolidations next one is interstitial pneumonia you can see there are interlobular septal thickenings here yeah. yes polygonal type interlobular septal thickenings so it is interstitial pneumonia caused by mycoplasma pneumonia and uh, next thing is organizing pneumonia you can see air space opacifications in the periphery they are wedge shaped so apex is directed towards the hilum mainly peripherally and also in the lower lobes so it is organizing pneumonia and also a bronchial formation also there 
a chronic process. The pneumocystis, you can see ground glass, perihyla, ground glass opacifications, and uh, you can see abronchogram formations also. And this is mainly perihyla. You can see abronchograms and ground glass opacifications in the alveoli. Other one is cavitatory pneumonia. You can see there's a cavity. So it's a consolidation with cavity formation. The cavitatory pneumonia. Then to differentiate pneumonia from uh, lung malignancy, you have to do a contrast CT chest. In pneumonia, there's no usually no enhancement because there's fluid in the alveoli, so you won't see an enhancement. You can see non-enhancing areas. These are abronchograms, lucencies. These enhancing areas are a collapsed lung, segment subsegmental collapse of lungs. And there's a paranemonic pleural effusion also, kind of insisted effusion here. So, basically this. So this is a consolidated area. These are subsegmental collapse. So, also a consolidated area. And, uh, so, it's a lobe pneumonia with paranemonic effusion. This is a contrast CT chest in the mediastinal window. So, that concludes the pneumonia in radiology made series made easy and please subscribe our youtube channel and then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this